Callum, your first win as Cowden Beath manager here at Central Park. How did it feel to you today? No, it was good. Obviously, we had spoke to the players beforehand. That had been March was the last time we'd won at home, so it's you know we had to like, bring some of the performances that we've been putting away for home and make sure that our, our home form was strong. And like, you know, like the boys put in a good performance. Obviously, there's aspects could be better, but you know, if somebody had offered that scoreline before the game, you know, it would have been a bit in the hand off. So, yeah. credit to the boys, it's put moving forward now. Yeah, maybe I should correct myself. First league win <laughs> at Central Park for you, at all odds. Um, Bit of a, a blow to see Matty McDonald go off injured. Yeah. How, how's the young man's knee? He looked a wee bit sore, apart from anything else. Um, like to honest, I don't think we'll know until possibly Monday, Tuesday. Um, see how his knee reacts to it, but no, it's difficult to see at the minute. Yeah. And were you pleased with the way the players adopted a fairly high press from the very beginning? Uh, and that clearly put Edinburgh under a huge amount of pressure in the first half. No, first half we were excellent, you know, and I think it was six and a half time, but it could have been, should have been like a lot more, and it's not been disrespectful to them, just we were like, we, we done well, um, we penned them in their half, we were like, direct, and we forced them into mistakes, and at times we punished them for them, so no, the boys done really well first half. Looking to the season so far, the team remains unbeaten, decent results against the two B teams, in the league, how do you quantify the the progression so far in this Lowland League for for Cowden Beath? Obviously, we want more. Like we, we should be sitting on maximum points from the four games that we've played, but we're not. Um, so it's just making sure that you know like we keep trying to get better, um, and that comes to, down to the management team making sure the players are prepared as best prepared as possible, um, and. Like the players um, listening to what we're asking them to go and do, and that you know like we're fully aware we've got like a massive match on Wednesday against Broomhill or a very good time. We haven't, of course, spoken. I don't think uh, on Blue Brazil TV since the league campaign begun. It was a painful blow to lose an equaliser against Civil Service Strollers here at Central Park a couple of weeks ago. Did did you speak to the players after that about trying to close out a game? Is that was that something that you spoke to them about afterwards? No, I, I, I think everybody's aware of the fact that you know we, we, we'd done it like two games in a row. Um, you know, just like a reminder of players that you can't switch off. That you, you've got to make sure that the concentration levels are you know, for the full ninety minutes and. It's like trying to prepare them as best as possible. You can't. There's nothing you can do. You can't go on the pitch and head the ball out uh, for them. And sometimes you can prepare them for certain situations. And then you know it's like last minute. Certain situations come up, and that you, you, you players have to be able to adjust on the pitch. And that's what we've tried to do in the last few weeks to make sure that when these situations come up, that their decision making is good. Yeah. Broomhill on Wednesday evening, as you say, they're yeah. going pretty well so far this season. Are you looking forward to that fixture? I uh, know we're looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be a really, really tough game. Um, starting the season well, um, a good side, got good players, um, obviously a good management team as well. So we need to make sure that our preparation is good for the game. Yeah. One final question: uh, Certain substitutions were made at half time, given the the way the game was going. Dougie Hill had a fairly large ice pack on his the back of his calf, I think. Is he okay, do you think, for the next match? Uh, Dougie should be fine. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Okay, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Callum, thanks for speaking no, thank to you. us. Good stuff.